No system overloads. Camera's rolling. No system overloads yet. Camera's rolling. Audio's rolling. Hello. 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 Can we all do that at the same time? Hello. Hello. <laughs> One, two, three. Hello. Hello. Cool. <laughs> we all in tune. Yeah. So we're back again for another episode of PoserCast. PoserCast episode... Seven, isn't it? It's at least eight. You reckon? I think it's yeah. seven. Should we ask Siri? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll confirm right now. Live confirm right here. Why these guys are checking that? Uh, we're glad to be back for another poser cast. Just me, Jackie, and his boyfriend, <laughs> Luke, <laughs> Luke Evans. When's just that video going out? We're going to do it tonight. Just the yeah, yeah. We can throw that out tonight. Class. You've just all been taking part in this Civic City session, uh, who's hosted by Matt Howard. It's all been going to be sick. There's the nine teams, and uh, yeah, it's a nine. Yeah, it's good oh, teams, man. That's fucking. We got we got April babies. You got SWP. We got Prestige Worldwide. Turtle we Bays. Got Turtle Bays. We got um, Time Takes Its Toll. Um, 2BC, which is 2B. Um, confirmed. Confirmed. Yeah. Um, is that it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't what remember. It oh, stands for. we got Shrop, which is the young fourteen-year-olds, and there's a couple more, I think. But yeah, it's good fun. Everyone's getting out and session it. I know the boys have been busy, but I've been trying to do my best for us. Jeverett, the one-man team. Yeah, and trying to smash out, out those, those challenges. challenges. But the boys are joining in tomorrow, and we smashed out a challenge tonight, which is good. So you know, it's going all right. Yeah, by the point that this is up, we will have done a few challenges as a team. It's going to be good. Which is good. Yeah. Did you find out what episode this is? Yeah, it's episode eight. Oh, get on. Episode eight. So just the originals, the important ones anyway. Gordon can't be with us tonight because he's too busy painting his nails. <laughs> Should be busy painting a fucking skateboard. Yeah, right. Hopefully. He stopped replying <laughs> about it, so I think it's, he's either really busy painting a skateboard or it's not happening. But yeah, Civic City Session, check it out. We will link it down below. You can check out our Instagram for what we've been up to. Me and Jack have just had a lovely meal together. I never wanted it to end. I'm, so f I'm feeling so full with both spaghetti and true love. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite pretty. Yeah, man. I feel like closer to you now, you know. It was the most romantic, awkward thing I've seen in my life. It's been like... <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since you've taken me out on a date to be fair yeah I do like to wine and dine you sometimes my joke got ruined because I was going to say like you know me and me and Jack were having dinner and then we realised it was a challenge for <laughs> civics <laughs> yeah. session so we just decided to film it you know so what you got Jack <laughs> what you got for us this week um um, Niger, Houston, Niger Houston has a mobile mobile game. Have you seen that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Has he? Yeah, man. What's it called? Um, Can we see it? Have you got it? Can we see it up here? Yeah, I'll get it up. I'll try and screen record it. Yeah, nice. Nice. Niger Houston moving into the mobile gaming industry. Is it skateboarding? Yeah. Nice. What the fuck else is it going to be? Well, I don't Niger know. Houston motorbikes. Yeah. So stupid. To lose your license and <laughs> is, is the internet down because I, I don't know if it's going to connect to Apple TV it should oh wait it's because I'm connected, connected to, to um, the wrong one nah, no, Jesus, I'm right. no I'm connected to the, this action cam ah uh, savage so you can't do it yeah I'll just unconnect the action cam and it'll still record yeah <coughs> cool so let me get this up for you. 
Do you not see this? Get up, bitch. No. Oh, it's really weird. I was just looking at game, looking for like games to play. And um, I just saw that, and I was like, "What?" Fair play. You pro it. I've not played it very much. What's the actual name of the game? Um, I'm not ripping off Tony Hawk's skateboarding, is it? Niger Hawk, Houston's Niger Hawk's pro skateboarding. <laughs> <laughs> The game is called Niger Houston's Monster Energy Skateboarding. Uh, it's called Hashtag Skate Life. Sounds about right. But is it about like? Is it about going to skate a contest and then going home and buying an expensive car, hanging out with the monster girls? <laughs> you know, it's really, really easy to play. Is it where you? Go to the skate park all day and train, and then go home, and your dad beats you <laughs> until the next day, That's until dark. you get good enough, and then he tries taking over your career, losing the court case, I so your career goes to <laughs> your mum. <laughs> right, finally, it, you, I can't record the screen, so I'll have to try and put in some footage of it. But um, you can't. I what? can't record the screen and cast it to the Apple TV at the same time. Uh, that's bullshit. Uh, so this is it. Hashtag skate, skate life. Oosh. He looks hilarious. <laughs> he looks like a Sims character. I'm starting to think that it is going to be like what I was just saying. Is Sims. that Magic Houston or Jackie Chan's son? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it is really broken as well. The first time I played it, I had to try and open it about five times before it would open. Right. So... Not the best built, not the best built up. Making a mobile game about skateboarding is not about making a quality game, Jack. It's about making <laughs> as much money as possible with in-app purchases. Whoa, man! You got one thousand three hundred and thirty-three k's. I don't, I don't know. Jump two gaps of water. Land two spine transfers, like fell on Niger Houston style. Cool. Um, oh, it's actually really weird. Like looks alright though, up. to be fair. Yeah. Not too sh Yo! Backside 50. His trucks are super loose though. Yeah, Nigel Houston's case is tight truck, so this is totally wrong. <laughs> Release. Yo. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to play it too much because no one really can see what, what, you're actually what doing. I'm doing. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. No, it looks good. That came cool. out recently. Hashtag skate life. I'll give that a blast later. Check it out. No, oh, that looks good. I wasn't expecting that. I'm surprised that you heard about it and I didn't. Yeah, right. It's like not been advertised in the skate world at all. Just on the app store. Nice. Well, for all of you fat boy skateboarders out there, I have uh, I've figured it out. I've I got I've got the way that you can get ripped. And shred at the same time. Oh, mate. <laughs> Not a good idea, bro. Do you even lift? Do you even lift? So this guy longboards. What's that? What, longboarding? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's when... It's a board with wheels on that people go on so that they can say that they skateboard. Even though they don't, they do stuff like weight lift and dance on them. Dance is hard though. But it's just when they say they skateboard but they just bomb hills. Yeah, yeah it's gnarly, but it's longboarding. It's I've a type said of it. skateboarding, <laughs> it's not actual skateboarding. I've said it before, can you imagine? You make like really good mates with someone and they're like, yeah, yeah, skate. And you're like, yeah. oh bro, let's they link up. And they've the yeah, got a longboard under their arm. You'd be like, god damn it. Or a penny board. God damn it. <laughs> right, talking of, um, I hate to say it, but fat people on skateboards. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I'm what, is it going to be a clip of Jamie Foy? No. <laughs> this guy it? is insane. He's an absolute inspiration. An inspiration? What, just is it a being, blind skateboarder? Just for being fat? No, nah, man, he's... Just, yeah, you need to watch this. It's so sick.
Yo. 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 I bet he snaps so many boards. I think this is probably the guy who I've seen that clip of where he like snaps his board clean in half Just on that from spine. Oh, no, it's, Have you not seen? Nah, it's a different guy. The, guy the other guy is a lot bigger than him. Yeah. He's quite a big guy though. Yeah, man. He's really big. Normally, Yo, like, yeah, like David skates. Gaines style. Skates like with his top off and stuff as well. He just does not care. Yeah, man. You're not meant to care. We're all skateboarders. Like the only people you need to care about in skateboarding is random people, not skateboarders themselves. They don't give a shit. Skateboarders get on with other skateboarders. Staple gun. I would not do that shit. No, you're feeling inspired, Why Jack. Inspired yeah, man. For? You're not even that big. Inspiration. I thought but that was. I can see where you're coming from. I thought that was uh, sick. Yeah, man. You should. Uh, you should do it if that guy can do it. Anyway, what are you wearing about? Apparently, if you that guy can baby be. Baby giraffe style. That's it. <laughs> I got weak ass baby giraffe style. It's luxy. If that guy can be fat and skate, Jack, then, then you got it down, bro. No yeah, problem. <laughs> exactly. Even front nose slide anything, so it'd be I fine. Can. So, <clears throat> the biggest news of the month in local terms, I think, is that Ash Parker no longer works for Prime Skate Park. It's been there for a long time. Everyone's upset, but yeah, man. stuff has to happen, unfortunately. It's what, summertime, isn't it? It just kills the indoor skate parks, to be fair. Any indoor skate park. I know Prime's not, well, the cheapest, but it's it's not the ex most expensive skate park indoor. And Don't I know, know it's not the best Probably up there. shop run because it's like s stuff that you buy in the shop's expensive and uh, the skate shop, the actual price of the skate park for £8 for three hours isn't the best. And if you want to pay on card, you have to pay £10 and their session's £8. It's just a bit savage, I just think. If you're going out of business, you've got to lay off staff who... Because Ash has got to have worked there for, like, what, four years or something? He took over mm -hmm. very shortly after I started skating. And if it means that you've got to lay off staff and it's getting that tight, you'd surely just lower your prices, wouldn't you? And you just say, like, yo, boys, shit's going down. Everyone come have a session, it'll really help. And everyone would go have a session, right? Even for the eight quid that Charge Prime people would do it if they just did that. Prime is... It is savage that Prime might go under, but it, like you know, we're not gonna have an indoor skate park <coughs> if they do. Someone will take it over, but hopefully it'll be all right. So no, much like as Nick's opened like the last mm. three indoor skate parks that have been anywhere near Plymouth, hasn't he? They've well, opened something two, to do two of them. Flat spot, flat spot. He had. I'm not what sure if he had domain? anything to do with flat spot. Domain was his park, and right. so is Prime. Right. Okay. I got this sign from him, so he yeah, must have had something to do with it. Yeah. Possibly, but I wasn't sure. Yeah. I think no. Yeah, flat spot actually. He part owned it. I think with the other guy, but the other they like went separate ways. He had Prime and Flat Spots online now. Yeah. We'll take it over. A bit of a <laughs> yeah. I was someone said something on a group I was in the other day along the lines of like, so if we rented like a a warehouse that was like sixteen thousand oh, pounds a year. DSP. Yeah. Four yeah. forty people. Paying like what was it like seven pound oh, fifty a week? Yeah, man, <laughs> let's do it. That's literally <laughs> ran by that's ran by long. skaters for skaters, isn't it? Do you think John Hill's going to get this? He said he's given himself like a year to like get an indoor skate park in New York. Yeah, yeah. one of the most expensive he cities. He could afford to do it. What he's worrying about is like maintaining it. You know. He's basically saying, I don't want to run it as a business that's open to the public. I want companies to pay to advertise so that it's my own private skate park. So, I don't know. I don't know. Who who cares, really? Because I just think it makes the quality of... It would make the quality of his videos less good in that he always sessions around everywhere at the moment, and that's what makes it good. Whereas, like, Braille, same place every week. Revive, yeah. same place every week. Yeah, man. And their channels are, like, going downhill because it's boring, and it's the same thing. Whereas John Hill, like, you're just session a street spot, like, and then a different one, you know? I, I watch NKA, so... Yeah, man. They always got street skating in a different skate park with different people, so it keeps it cool. Yeah, that's what... I don't know. I think it would make his videos less good, but at the same time, you can't fault him. Like, if, if you could have a private skate park, you just would, wouldn't you? Yeah. <coughs> Probably. But, yeah, um, so... 
support prime go there i know it's hot and i know center is pretty good now but it would be a bummer to lose prime especially when it comes winter and yeah. those indoor skate parks gonna suck so you, we get kicked out of car parks there's nowhere else to skate really in Brett inside you can't even skate there anymore it's only got to make it through the summer but you know go there and support it you know i know we probably don't always say the it probably seem like we're huge Prime fans, but that's probably because we absolutely take it for granted and that a lot of places don't have an indoor skate park. And it is a great thing. The amount of winter nights that are spent at Prime that are great sessions is really good. So don't let it die for a long summer. Although it's supposed to be raining this weekend, so... Good luck, Prime. Good luck, Ash, with whatever you end up doing, bro. I'm sure I'm sure you'll do all right. I'm sure you'll do all right, man. If not, skate on, you know. Stay grounded. It'll be, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. For everyone, I'm sure. It always is. And in some less depressing news, let's quiz Jack and see if he can tell us what, what trick this is. <coughs> you ready to have your head fucked in the ass, Jack? I think I've seen this, you know. Oh, it makes me feel sick. What was it? I don't know, let me watch it again. It just looks like a double tray. It's just a tray flip. Just a tray flip. It's just but a tray flip. It looks like it he's look, about he's to about bigger turn like back big side. Flip. Yeah. But he just makes it... It's, it's weird. weird, isn't it? Yeah. In all fairness... It's sick that he done it, but it just looks like a fucking disgusting tray flip. I think it looks <laughs> fucking sick, man. It, what was the point? It looks like, like when I first watched it, I was like, he did a body burial, and then like you just realised that he doesn't, you know? But I know this guy is ridiculous. So do you I, think he was man, trying to do it? To yeah, he did. Yeah. The stuff he does is ridiculous. Like all crazy, weird shit. Skates with Skate Mafia and does all these like wall ride, like nolly berry heel flips and mad stuff. and He does like... He wallies rails like side on and then flips over and stuff and does like mad tricks. I think it's called Tiago or something. Mad. Oh, actually, speaking of Prime, before we move on too much, so I've seen a few clips of this girl. Prime have really been pushing her, but. Oh, Kia, yeah, she's yeah. skate for you, skate. Yeah, man. She's a. Uh, I think, she's, yeah, she's. She's a pretty young girl. She's pushing it. She's killing it. She wears knee pads all the time, but check this out, man. Damn. Yeah, she's sponsored now. Is she? Yeah, yeah, Meromadium Skateboards that Jake Hill's on. Nice. Jake Hill just turned pro from Meromadium Skateboards. Nice. Big up, Jake. Ready? She's like, I'll clean that up. Oh! Did she face plant? <laughs> like, it wasn't a face plant, it was just a fucking harsh slam. Oh, oh wait, mate, I wasn't expecting that. I uh, thought she was going to nail it. Yeah, man. That would have winded me. That, that, that was like why I saved the clip. at the bottom of that wall, right? Not very tweaked, but you'll get there. Keep at it. Class, let's yeah, get it wrong. I didn't want to skip it again, but let's watch that slam again. But I just didn't want to make it a pain in the ass to edit for you. She gets it clean. It's weird to show the roll away and then the slam, though. Yeah. Let's get her on. So heavy. That would me be being like, nah, I quit. I'd be, I'd be winded. I'm done with skateboarding. I wouldn't be able to breathe. So it makes her a true skateboarder. Doesn't quit. <coughs> Kills it though. More, more girl skateboarders. That'd be good. Skateboarding is for everyone. And girls, the girls' level of skateboarding is getting pushed. That's really sick. Can we call this, um, this podcast? We still don't fancy. The t shirt because that, that got <laughs> cool. a lot of views, but yeah, I don't know right. if it was just because we were giving away free shit. But. I don't know, I think it was partly to do with it, but it also got a lot of dislikes. Okay, so I think it must have been to do with the name as well. Do you reckon that was just because people for people who didn't watch it, just like, or yeah, seen the title or whatever, and was like, fuck these guys or whatever, <laughs> didn't get far enough into it. Like, context matters though. Uh, Uh, I got the yeah. back tail video if you want to see it on Altura. Let's do it, yeah. How you do would. you get it up on Apple TV? It's all yeah. really bad. Scroll up, scroll up, do that again. And then press screen mirroring. 
Where's that? You. Let's try and choose the right one because I've top already one, had top text one. off Grace. Like, because we've been connecting to our Apple TV upstairs. The code. Right. It's not this one then. <laughs> She's gonna get so angry. <laughs> <laughs> we need to name them, man. We do. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Skates the dry skateboard. That is loud. That is loud. It's too loud. Turn it down. I'm trying to turn it down. Jack's I got it. it. I got it. I this got is it. actually a video part, but the back tail down on the tour is in this. It's absolutely ridiculous. This guy skates the dry. It's ridiculous. There's like an intro to this video part as well. Who's he skate for? Jart Skateboards, Thunder, Nike SB and all that. Still wow that. Right? Push that light back. Adrian Bullard, this guy's good. So what's he doing? A back tail down El Toro? Yeah, yeah. El Toro 20. So he's like got a full on... This he is in London, slam isn't it? down it and gets back off and does it again. He looks like he's in London at the moment. Yeah, he does skate some London spots, I think. Was it him? Someone else? No, like, I think they're just Europeans. The UK, European spots, like That's Berlin and stuff. Is that in the UK? No. Is it not? Is he no, British? He's like, no, he's like from France or Spain or something. <laughs> not exactly, I don't know, sure. I know he's European, from France or something. Oh, there's a slow ass uh, nolly flip. Guy absolutely killed it. What? Ridiculous trick. I think he must be from France. This is a French, French ass song, isn't it? If I had to guess, I'd say it was pretty French. What? What makes you? What? What about you? Makes it, makes you guess he's French. Um. To be fair, I think Jar is like a French slash Spanish. It's that brand snare drum anyway. that they're using That's sounds really it. French. <laughs> it's a pretty French sounding snare. You what? That was. Sick. That's a twenty stair as well. He yeah, that, man. Room. that was class. It was like sort of like he will flip back late late back one eighty, you know. Switch as well. It's ridiculous. But this who, guy's goofy. Do it? people are actually skating glasses? Apparently so. I can't do it. They always fall off. Well, that was a sick ass fucking hard flip back one eighty as well, right? Nolly inward one eighty. Oh uh, right. O opposite one eighty, like nolly yeah. inward rewind. Switch tray flip rewind in mid air. What the fuck? Uh, I've been really wanting to skate a spot like that, just obviously with less fucking bricks. Yeah. Like what? <laughs> That's like cobbly. Cobbly. Yeah, man. Hollywood tight, look, Hollywood high 16, back tail shot. Oh, his glasses came off. Yeah, man. That's why you don't wear glasses while you skate. They're going to get broken, bro. Hopefully they're insured. Oh, I can't do it because the frame is a bit cheap there. Yo, okay, yo. Oh, oh his glasses came off again. And he's bleeding from his fucking head. And he's like, nah, I still got it though. It's disgusting. Like nothing. That's ridiculous. After taking a song out. That was a nice back tail as well. Popped out kind of early, but it's still yeah, that nice. Makes it gnarly, yeah, that. man. <laughs> you know what would have made that trick better? If he dabbed at the end of it. Not enough dabbing in skate. There though. isn't, is there? Yeah, back tail down our tour is ridiculous. Yeah, man, that is sick. Yeah, it's pretty much. The clip I wanted to show you. Banging. Have you seen Jerry's. Jamie's voice tricks down on the toilet? Probably. I've seen, yeah, a couple front of them. Front feet first try. No. Yeah. yeah. And he did the, um, he did the front that crook down. The front like, crook, yeah. He put out that part recently, didn't he? Where he's doing shit down, stupid shit. Yeah, mental. <laughs> Alright, so who's guilty? Who's guilty? Leave a comment below if you're guilty of this. What's this? It says, I'll see if I can zoom in for you. You see a bad trick at the skate park, you guys tried to skate 2,000% harder. When he says bad chick, does he mean a, an attractive female? Well, no, I think... Sexy, badass looking chick. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know if he's just bad. Meant, I don't know if that means... Bad at skating. Uh, yeah, I don't know if he means bad at, at skating or 
bike is in yeah, an attractive. You're not trying to show off a bad girl at skate, would you? Yeah, because she's gonna think she's gonna think you're super great, even though because you could just be like average, and she'd be like, "Wow, this guy's so good!" Like, because I can't even do a no comply mm-hmm. one eighty or whatever. So who's guilty? Jevert's obviously guilty. <laughs> I can't ja- say. Jack's guilty. Always going two thousand percent harder when there's chicks at the skate park. Nah, I always, I always go my limit. Yeah, not me though. I'm not guilty. I love my girlfriend and I'm loyal to her even <laughs> when I'm skating. In fact, I skate worse if there's a sk- if there's a girl at the skate park because <laughs> just because I don't want her to be impressed with me just because I'm so happy in my relationship with my girlfriend. You know. I mean, that's something guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Not guilty. But I've seen it. I have seen it. I used to, like, so when you go prime and Steph Nelling would show up and she'd just have, like, four dudes all being like, it was up, and they'd all be trying to impress her and stuff. You know, I've seen it happen, but not me. I skate just as bad as I skate all the time, no matter who's there. I'm always shit. 2,000% of the time. Anyway, this is, a, this is a group called Skateboard Lifestyle and some hilarious shit goes down there. I'm really not sure if it is like people who like truly just do not skate and really want to let people think that they skate or if it's like people who do skate trolling, you know? Mm. But if you want to laugh, join fucking Skateboard Lifestyle because it's... I'll just go on it now. I'll just go on what it's like right now. I want to see what, what comes up. See if there's anything interesting. Making that real easy to edit. How to clean parents. <laughs> In fact, why are skateboard shit like this? Not like this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's nothing that funny going down right now. Sounds like a shit group to me, mate. Oh, mate, it's so funny. This is the poser cast, and it's full of fucking posers. It's so good. <laughs> All right, cool. So that's that's done there. So the social issues of skateboarding, we tackle them quite often ends up getting quite fucking political quite often and I don't really intend for this to but what do we think of this boys what do we think of this shit we got a fucking crew of lifers right here you know when you have people in the culture contributing you just gotta make way for them maybe you miss a day of skating all hell cardiel all hell cardiel all right all right Do you guys like show up in a golf course and set up on the fairway and then tell people they can't golf? Yeah. No. If you want to look legit, get the other board because you're gonna look ridiculous any skateboarder holding that uh, holding that department store board. Sir, we appreciate your opinion, but can you please just go on and put your So you're mocking me for skateboarding while you're trying to cash in on skateboarding with your fashion show. So how does that make sense? All hell Cardiel. Alright. What is he saying there? All hail Cardiel. John Cardio. Pro skateboarder. Right. Legendary. So what do we think? Who's in the wrong? The guy the guy with the camera who is having a go at these innocent people who have just come to do their skateboarding you know, fashion they were shoot. Stopping people from at using the skate, the skate park. park. Or are we upset with the fucking the fashion the fashion gurus who have come in? Bossman's trying to shred, then they need to they need to get out of the way. Is that, is he trying to shred though? Or if is he, he isn't trying to shred, then he's just being a bit. Yeah, but he looks like he's waiting for these people to fucking <laughs> show yeah. up. To be fair, but uh, it was pretty horseshit that those people were like, "Ah, just go off and play with your skateboard or whatever." <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. like he said, we like, don't know that they might have been paid by someone else to to do that. I don't know. Yeah, but even it, well, even if so, like yeah, I suppose they're just doing their thing, but do your fucking thing somewhere else because if he was skateboarding through the middle of a photo shoot, they'd sure as hell have fucking. Yeah, that wasn't even thing. a fucking good backdrop. They could have found something so much better. Yeah, man, definitely. Like the streets. Not only is it cooler in Mole skateboarding. 
If only is it cooler than skateboarding, but it's uh, it'd just be cooler, you know. And that's it, yeah. You look like a knob as well. Well, the guy holding the longboard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, douche, name. Could this the machete mustache? So you know someone is fucking class when they <sighs> right more grab in with their entourage. And I don't do any tricks. I got this, which is a little bit skateboardy. Fuck skateboarding. Yeah, hey, fuck skateboarding. This fucking eight minute intro. This is the future. Oh, I've seen one of these things recently. It's like a pump. It pumps in the water, doesn't it? This one's like electric. It's got like a full electric on Electric as well? Motor what? On it. Like an electric fucking skateboard, but in the water on a surfboard. Because there's one of those that you can just pump what on, you jump up and down and that? it works. How the shit does that work? You can like push up and yeah, down. Yeah, there's the one where you like squat up and down on it and it like does it, but this is like fully motorised. They like, f they're like not even on the water, they're like floating in the air. How the fuck does that work? Look! You seeing this shit? Yeah, man. It's like a hoverboard. <laughs> How's a <the> waterboard? <laughs> Hoverboards fucking exist, man. Yeah, f he's like, fuck you and your stupid wakeboard. <laughs> that is some fucking sick ass it's future. shit. It's the future, yeah. How much is one of those? What's uh, it called? I can cool tell brand. you. What's it called? Um, it, this video is called Amazing New Flying Surfboards Can Fly Over Water. Uh, we don't know its actual name. Oh, wait. Oh, it says it in the description. Um, it says here surfboards you can buy in 2017. This is old tech, mate. Old tech. What's it called? Uh, it says e f e e foil? E F O I L. It costs $12,000. Oh, worth it. Jet foiler. What's that, about £8,000? £10,000? Something like that. About that, yeah. yeah that's not anymore. They've dropped. So bear in mind, they've dropped in price, obviously, because it's old as fuck now. Oh, you can pick one of these pump. bad boys up without an engine, though. Uh, without an engine, this is the pumping ass one you were on about. But you can get one of those for one thousand three hundred dollars. I know pounds. That's not too bad. I bet they're out of a lot harder though. This you just stand on and fucking. What are the ones that you pump on are harder. Yeah. Well, these guys just make like. Uh, it seems like pretty easy to go on it in the video. These guys make regular. They're like more board. fun than the ones that are powered though. But no, that was sent to me by Chris Hyde. Shout out Chris Hyde. Is it? Yeah. Get on Chris Hyde. Hashtag fishing bites. When the hell is he coming subscribe. out skateboarding? Come on, Chris Hyde. Yeah, come out, mate. Come to come join us on a podcast. I'll break a leg. No. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> they make actual real surfboards as well. The e-foil experience, 25 miles an hour, even with no weight. Fucking hell, that's dangerous. Yeah, so you need a six, you need to pay a $6,000 deposit, and then once it arrives, you've got to pay $6,000. Holy crap. Or for a jet engine on it. I don't have a video of it as well, but have you seen... Um, they're like roller skates, but segways. You get two like little segways that you stand on. That sounds like Heelys. They're not Heelys though, because like they're the segways, like you know the little Segway thing. Yeah, they yeah, actually yeah. power. Yeah, you like lean forward and it goes forward, and you lean back and it goes back. Nice. But like roller skates. Nice. The new gen, like future Heelys. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Mad. Now that's sick. I'm in. I'm into that. Saw a guy in town the other day with like one of those powered unicycle things. Sorry. Oh, like the, the one wheel wheel. things. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's, well weird. That's embarrassing. Yeah, I was it goes watching them. Um, Watching it's mental. what's he fucking called? Eric Coston doing the do okay. a kickflip thing, and some dude was on one of those one wheel things, and he was all like, "Do <laughs> yeah, a kickflip," and he was like, "Not on this one, bro." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got um, talking of swagways, I've got a uh, another video actually. Mate, you should you should caption these links. That looks like it's disgusting. Yeah, isn't it? man, you t I always caption mine so I know what it is. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I'm getting rid of that. I'm trying again. <laughs> Just um, lucky dip, mate. Just click one. <laughs> we just fucking. Just number them. No, I, I'm almost certain it's this one. Except it won't open. Technical difficulties, guys. We we are <laughs> restarting. Okay, happening. Four minutes. It's all right, Jack. I'll save your ass while you load him up. All right. It's on topic. <laughs> Is it? 
You want me to wait? Let me let me give it one more attempt. <clears throat> What's your favourite trick so far, Luke? Yeah, that you've learned, or that you've seen him able in? So, well, that's two different questions. Well, so which one? Well, my favourite that I like to do, yeah, do and my favourite that I've seen. Yeah. So. Your favourite that you like to do first. My favourite trick to do. That you've learned so far. Is a kickflip. Yeah. Yeah, man. Now of that you've started to get it, like more get and more them stuff. Yeah, man. Spe like when you just like get a real popped one and you catch it up here and stuff. Like especially out of t Central's top bank. Like that is that is probably my all time like favorite come up thing. To your feet. To, yeah, man. Literally, like I've been popping them real nice. Especially now they've got the extension and you can like go down that big bank. Right, because yeah. I don't really like skating the big quarter too much. You just fucking pump down that big bank. It gives you loads of speed. You can proper like. You can get so much air up out of that bank, you know? Yeah, nice. So kickflip, especially at cinch, out of the bank. Um, but I don't know. I, obviously, I like doing loads more tricks, but the kickflip, there's just nothing quite like a real nice one. Nice. And... Your favourite trick you've seen? Oh, this has nothing to do with it. No, I was wrong. Uh, but we can have a look at this if you want. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll we'll <laughs> continue that in a bit. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll think about it. <laughs> um, yeah, I opened the wrong link, but um, <laughs> you should um, you should really caption those links. I though. should. <laughs> this is um, Tony Hawk and his kids at South Bank. Nice. Yeah, he randomly turned up, didn't he? Hmm. He randomly turned up to South Bank, didn't he? Yeah. Is anyone there that we know? Tony Hawk. Well, uh, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Other than Tony Hawk, oh, who the fuck exactly is Keenan you know. Keegan Hawk? It's his son. He's got another, I thought he just had Riley. Nah, he's got he's loads got like couple, of kids. kids. Just wanted to make sure one of them was going to be pro. Won't let me scroll through, but there's a a small short video of <coughs> of him of Tony Hawk doing some trick, some kind of trick. But he's doing a. Is that him there, Tony Hawk on the left, doing a back Smith there, on that fucking quarter, which is stinky as well. I don't think I've ever got a trick on that quarter. Horrible. Yeah, man. People put some gnarly shit down on it as well. Tell you what, we'll watch it. I'll open it up in the Instagram app. <laughs> um, and then we'll be able to watch it. So I don't know really fucking much about vert skating. Don't really enjoy like watching it like or anything, you know. But the thing about Tony Hawk, man, that like I read his autobiography and it was really fucking good. And I watched his Nine Club podcast and it was really good, you know. Yeah. Here so we go, you ready? Alright, let's see it. That's not him, is it? No, that's not Tony Hawk. That's that was not him. savage, though. Here we go. Fuck off! As if Tony Hawk can skate this. What front blunt? Is that front? Bl You're telling me fucking sixty-year-old Tony Hawk can front blunt he's not this? Sixty, man. He's he is. He's, he's fifty. 80, isn't he? He's he? Forty-eight. Fifty. He did a forty-eight he at nine hundred not too long ago. No, so he, he did a fifty for fifty, I think. But still, yeah. Fifty-year-old Tony Hawk doing a front blunt on this fucking shit. <laughs> and I don't even think I'd f like rock fake it. <laughs> Try to rock and roll it, yeah, no, that's yeah. fucking dope. Yeah, man, I don't think I'd want to do that either. Dropping but you see like some sketchy. proper shit go down on that quarter, you know? Yeah, man. Front Blunt by Tony Hawk. What a legend. What a legend. He might be a fucking multi billionaire, but he'll still front blunt that fucking <laughs> <laughs> quarter at South Bank. Yeah, right. I reckon this is the link I want, you know? Yeah. But we'll just Stack never find out. Stack for this podcast, mate. Stacking it. This is from months and months of stuff, because the most recent podcasts have been like eight hours long. It's really hard to say, because sometimes you really like real tech stuff, you know? Like, especially when it's done like on the right thing, or it like, looks a certain way. But sometimes I just really like basic shit. Like the thing, like, I don't know, just a real, like, nice popped nolly shove it down something big or whatever. Yeah. That's, that's fucking cool. Simplicity class. is always a nice thing to do sometimes, though. Yeah, man. So you see people always trying to like, do the best tricks in one session, but sometimes it's nice to just slow it down and do simple tricks. But then doing, like... Big floaty pop shoves and all pop. these. But then, like, you see someone do, like, a fucking hard flip back big spin down, like, a double set or whatever, and you're, yeah, like... It's still, like, mind-blowing <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> at the same time. But then you can also do, like, a massive big spin or 180, and it like, fuck. But, yeah, man, simplicity. There's just something about people throwing shapes on a real simple trick that's just, like... But a particular one, 
I really don't know. Really don't know. Maybe like a good. Let us know your favorite trick or favorite trick you've seen. Good front shove, comments. maybe. Yeah, man. I put you the got them front shoves down now. I put the same to both of you. So your favorite mm -hmm. trick to do, and your favorite trick to see. Yeah, I have two favorite tricks. Favorite trick to do is a half cab. Nice. You got them so clean as well, man. And to, to see is probably a tray flip. Nice. Half flip, tray flip, and nollie flip are my three favorite tricks. Yeah, man. Can't choose out of the three. <laughs> yeah, man. Probably everyone would probably say tray flip because that's all like, they fucking see me do. But I love half flips and nolly flips just as much. Yeah, man. You should get those nolly flips like real on lock, like you know, like real. Like I know you got them like out of, like nose manual and stuff, but like I was saying, you should learn like nolly flip like back fifty. That would be real I good. Can do it. Yeah, but like down big shit. <laughs> down double king. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see it down like prime subber. And and then get like both the nolly flip rotations as well, because they're sick. What like, do you mean both nolly flip rotations? Nolly half cab flip. I can. Yeah, but let's see I it. Can like full cab flip both ways as well. Let's fucking see it then. <laughs> I had to film one of the nolly full cab flips for Civic City session. So, so cool. let's see like a nolly half cab flip to front nose slide. Wait, yeah, does that I work or front? That would that be a fr no? It'd be a fr front, front tail. tail, back tail. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. Do you know what I mean? Get them on lock yeah. so you got them like in stuff out. There's stuff. nolly front side flip, front side lip. <laughs> we'll get you to nolly flip a nice big stair set soon because I've never no, seen you take it down. My, I've got big. an idea for yeah. You know everyone's been wanting a Jevrit dial try and Well, I nolly trade flip that set and I nolly trade flip the little freeze twice in a row at Central the other day. Yeah. And I gave one attempt at it, but I want to try and nolly trade down the free block because that's what Dan Callen said to do. So you got. I that. gave one attempt at it, but my legs are pretty tired that day. So. I'm gonna go back and try and get that. That'd be a really good one. Where are we going tomorrow for pretty much the whole town centre? We need to smash out all these spots, Jack. Spot. There's, where's the one where, where the crossbar challenge is? Asta. Asta, which isn't far away. Not do far it, from here. Do it down that first spot. That's small. He's not about babies. doing it down the fucking free block. Yeah. Did you see? Um, did you see the nolly tray? You'd seen the nolly tray, yeah. Jack. The done peak out. Sure, that in the podcast. Like <laughs> <laughs> some sometimes. <laughs> I just can't understand him. Sometimes he really is like, oh, no. Nah, How many tries did that take? Nothing. Not very long. It, they okay. said it took under 10 minutes. So I like, it looks so clean. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, man. Yeah, man. I was just like, I got there and I was like, oh, my God. It's just Matt and them. And I, like, I was like, I don't know how I was feeling, but like, I just wanted to get it over with sort of thing. And done <laughs> yeah, with because that, that ground is, if you land on it, it just hurts. It looks smooth. I've like skated It is that. smooth to roll on. As soon as you land on it, your hands, it cuts you up. I skated that stair set with you once and I took some like slams on it and stuff. And there's like grass either side as well, so you've got to just be like quite precise with it, haven't you? Like, yeah, and if you land dodgy on the right side at the bottom, you'll smash your head into that wall. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But yeah, no, it was super clean. Big up, man. That was honestly one of the, one of the, one of the nicest nolly trays I've ever seen go down in Plymouth. I, if I, not I went the there nicest. and I was talking to Charlie about it and he was like, you know, I just imagine myself and pictured Brian Herman for Baker Free doing it down the 12 stair <laughs> or the 14 stair that it was and I was just like I've got to do it like that I'll get it I'll get it don't, don't. 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 right yeah. so you can you can only trade down a, a fucking set of stairs but can you do this Jevrit oh I've seen oh, this, I've seen this as well swagway, yeah, yeah man, man. Jevrit has got tray flips <laughs> oh fuck absolutely Jevrit has got tray flips on <laughs> lock though to be fair. I reckon you could do it. I reckon you could do it. I reckon you could do it. Oh, I've never been on one of them and I really want to. Have you not? They're um a good laugh. I've been on one. I haven't. Do my little cousin. cousin that yeah, time, yeah, he got one, didn't he? Actually, yeah. I might have tried it a little bit, I can't remember. It's 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 easy. It feels a bit weird for the first like one minute, but then you like feel like you're a fucking pro, you know. You got a bed for a job, uh, how much? Yeah, yeah, man. How much can you pick those up for now? Get have a it's look. Still at like that. over a hundred pounds. Are they too much? To, more than I'm willing to spend on one. You're not getting them on Wish. What, over a hundred pounds? Ah, oh, shit. It's good that you're um, <laughs> it's good looking, that you know yeah, that information look, off the top. Of your I look head, every payday. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> So let's see what I've got here. Oh, I got some shit. So you know when 
you just feel like it's all been done, you've seen it all before, <laughs> everyone's done the tricks. How can you change up skateboarding into being something different, being next level, you know, like Rodney Mullen, but in 2018? Oh, I've fucking seen this. You just fucking... Oh, I've seen this guy before. Add different sports together. So you get some fucking soap shoes on, <laughs> you do some parkour and skateboard at the same time. Because there's not enough flat ground backflips in skateboarding or fucking Prince of Persia war runs. <laughs> have super clear with shoes. I was going to say, that like, doesn't even count, surely. Get them film crew, film what was on. In all fairness, I wouldn't have run down that stair set. On, on my board. I would have done that side flip there. Nice. Uh -huh. And, um... Longest handstand ever. Yeah, I was like, when I first watched it, I was expecting him to like finger flip it as well. Yeah. I thought he was going to keep the guy in the face back. And what was that? Fucking jump down the stair set onto a board to rock on here. Right, Quick feet. Oh, an advert. Get on. <sighs> and the 2018 advert. <laughs> So it was one of the best things that Facebook ever did was just like put adverts in the middle of fucking videos. Tell you what, since you I've got like, one. since I've got YouTube premium, whatever it is, I was like on Facebook watching stuff and I got an advert and I forgot that they existed. Yeah, man. Nah, I don't like it. Not a fan. Not a fan? Nah. You don't think it's fucking sick? Nah, I'm not a fan. It's the same as William Spencer. <laughs> William Spencer was the, um... The stunt bubble for Spider-Man and the amazing Spider-Man. Right. Do you think, um... This oh. is gnarly though, for like the type that of skating that he likes to do. Yeah, that double right. pink is gnarly. What, um... What Tony Hawk was it where they added fucking parkour into it? American Wasteland. Because <laughs> you meet French, French guy, guy and he goes, yeah. yeah, you could skateboard, but what about parkour? <laughs> And now you do a wall run backflip? <laughs> and now Central Park's got a fucking park. You can park be in it as well, can you? Yo, front side lip slide. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, ninja roll. I think it's really cool, especially his fucking cage swiss or whatever he's wearing. Fucking... Adidas. Yeah. Adidas, the American Adidas to the UK. Like, I... You know, I was just starting to feel bored with skateboarding and like no one was pushing the level. Oh. What are those trucks are skating there? See, I didn't, I didn't even get this far in the video. I stopped watching it after Look, they a little while. Look, they in two different cities and cut them together. <laughs> That's creative. What is this shit? How does he keep his fucking... Uh, he's glued like glued him or something or... Definitely glued on food. This motherfucker's, this motherfucker's advertising <laughs> Gillette. No. Always make sure you like, shave yes, before you skate. My Gillette Fusion's come home. And if you fucking shave with Gillette Fusion, you, you can, can free run sports and together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, that's where they fucked up because I couldn't be bothered to watch it till the end, so yeah. I would have never have known Maybe that if it was, was like a real Gillette. skate edit. <laughs> right, we're coming into the last 10 minutes, so... Yeah, oh, wait. Oh, this yeah. is so annoying. I had so much more that I wanted to, to do. It, it always flies by. I've still got one thing on my list. Um, you wanted to have a little cry about about us. I was going to, yeah. That's what I'm saying. But I mm. thought, like... I thought we were going to run out of shit real, real quick, you know? But I just had to. This is like a whole compilation. Can we get some sound on this? Yeah, it should be hooked up with sound. This is a 10-minute yeah, video. You've turned it down, haven't you? It's really quiet. I got told off last time I put a 10-minute video of these guys on. No, yeah, I'm not. Are you up as loud as you go? Yo, buddy, do <laughs> this is it. Wait one sec. Yeah, turn it up. So it's just this bit you want to watch? Yeah. Are you up this on here? Yeah. Turn it up. Why is she so quiet? Are you up as high as you go on the... Yeah. yeah. 
Well, I don't know about on this. No. This me fucking loud as shit, do not it? Nah, Yo, that's good. buddy, do a kickflip! Hi guys, it's Madison. I just wanted to talk about skateboarding today. Um, <laughs> it's really annoying when, you know, like, someone wears, wears Thrasher who can't even, like, kickflip or something. And Guilty. I, it just, like, really triggers me because I work, like, so hard to get my kickflip down. And, <laughs> like, I work really hard to be able to wear these clothes. And, I don't know, it just, it's really disrespectful when someone just, like, thinks they can skateboard because they wear a certain brand or they... Like, they think they can wear a brand because they can skateboard, but that's not how it works. You have to, you know, you have to work hard, you get sponsored, you just, like, stop. Like, it's very disrespectful, and it's so annoying, because literally everyone thinks they can skateboard now, and it's, like, so dumb, and, like, they just don't get it, and I work so hard, I skate every day, and it's, oh, my God. But, yeah, honestly, stop that, being really. a fake skater. Stop trying to be a skateboarder. It's so stupid. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I know how she feels, you know. It just really winds me up. Like, if you want to wear fucking skate clothes, you have to fucking earn it. You fucking... You see someone who skates in the street, right, and they're wearing a pair of Nike SBs. You fucking pull those shoes off their feet and you... You... Smash it across their face and you tell them you take these fucking shoes off. Do you know what my people have been through? Do you know the fucking hate that we've dealt with? Do you... Do you know the repression that we fucking had? And you, you fucking, you're stealing our culture away from it. It's like if a fucking wh white guy has dreads, that's apparently a bad thing. But if you wear fashion and you don't skate, then you fucking, you're appropriating skate culture and it's not fucking cool, man. You don't get to fucking not skate your whole life and wear a fucking, wear a fucking girl t-shirt. Who the fuck do you think you are? And that's all I have to say on the matter. It just makes me so angry. I've worked so hard to be able to wear these fucking shoes. <laughs> you should, you should like recreate that video just like a side by side of it. It's, uh, no, that's genuinely how yeah, I she, feel. She it's started off like fairly calm. Send and in your best recreation of that video. Yeah. <laughs> Post it in the comments and send it to us on Instagram. I just can't hold. I can't do anything but whole fucking heartedly agree. It just makes my blood boil. <laughs> you know. She. We've yeah, all worked so true. hard to be able to wear skate gear. <laughs> like me, Jevrit, Jack, this bitch, we fucking all worked <laughs> so hard to be able to wear skate gear. I think we've got a, a name for the podcast. And, <laughs> and you just get motherfuckers <laughs> spending their money on our fucking brands. <laughs> We'd rather have our brands die than have you cunts wear them. <laughs> so take them off now. Because if I, if I see you in the streets. We're gonna have a fucking problem, okay? I wanna wear a fucking fresh now or tripping me. <laughs> <laughs> fucking go around skateboarding. Who's the poser then? <laughs> but now, nah, in seriousness, who gives a fuck what people wear? It literally helps support the brands that fucking keep skating around, that put on free events. The amount of people I know, right, who wear like Nike SBs who don't skate, and yet, I've, I've been to free events from like Nike fucking bought and kept open famous street spots and skate spots and, and shit, you know what I mean? Say what you like about big brands, but I'm all for them and I think everyone should wear them because it helps us all. Hey, it's savage what these support that little brands do got business, but at the same time, Nike is the main, everyone makes Nike out as the worst big corporate company, but you don't see New Balance, Adidas, or any of these other fucking big ass skate companies, well corporate ones, doing anything for the skate community. Like Nike's actually brought back, like you said, brought back skate spots and stuff, and actually helping people out. I've Whereas never, Adidas and New Balance are just taking the money and fucking off with it, you know. I've never had a free. I've never had free. I've never had a free skate, free food, and free beer off a local skate park or an independent brand or anything like that. Like Whereas. Nike SB, I fucking barely bought their shoes back then. Free skate, beer and food for all, whether you skated or not, you know. You fucking, they bought it. like what the was it like the courthouse ledges that they bought and like kept open and yeah. stuff, you know. They're gonna keep continuing to try and get as many skate spots back, but no one could say like Love Park and that. They're fucking savagery. Really. But yeah, actually, Nike can afford it, so fucking don't buy them unless you can tray flip. <laughs> <Mean> it. <laughs> yeah, man. I fucking take these shoes off right now. Because I can't tree flip. I'm wearing these shoes. <laughs>
until tomorrow <laughs> when I land one. Tune back in two years later. Peace. But yeah, that was a good find. I thought that was like that was really funny. Yeah, man, I really like that. Yeah, man. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, Tune in I'm as a way. Whoa! Did Jeffrey go into the fuck that? outro in before Wait, the before the you, outro beats even we're playing. Like fucking, we're like fifty six minutes in, Jeffrey. You can't cut us four minutes short. That's fucking valuable. The people are fucking tired right now. <laughs> Jeffrey right. wants a cigarette. Just smoke on this vape. Yeah, I've um, I've got some stuff to talk about. So the first thing is. Today, as in today for you guys, it is Wednesday. This podcast drops on a Wednesday, so I'm going to do something this week that I have not done in over a year, and I'm going to take a fucking week off. What? So there will you not. Didn't, you didn't run this past <laughs> us. <laughs> no, I didn't. You motherfucker. <laughs> there is only going to be the podcast today. There's no other skating video. I didn't, um, I didn't why is this not working? I didn't approve this. It's literally been. Plays up sometimes. It's literally been over a year. Well, probably coming up to about a year because I think we started doing daily, uh, weekly uploads in about August time. So I'm gonna have a week off. There is no video today, and it is not a mistake. No, there'll be two videos today. <laughs> it's not fucking go fuck yourself. I'm not doing two videos today. Um, however, what I can tell you is that it's after this podcast. We are not going to be bringing you only one videos, but two videos a week one from videos. that point onwards. So we're going to do my usual video, the the one that you all love so much, um, whatever that may fucking be. Um, but also, we are going to be starting a new series, and if you've been keeping a close eye on our channel, you probably already know the name of it, um, and pro by knowing so, you probably know a bit about it, but you may not. So. We're going to drop the first episode of our new gaming series where we go back in time and we play, well we started just on a first season series and we're just playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 for now and we're going to 100% that motherfucker and then we're going to play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, I think that's the plan, repeat until we've played every skateboarding game in existence or until one of us dies, whichever one comes first. The series... You can still do it if one of us dies. <laughs> I suppose there's four of us, so <laughs> yeah, fair shout. Um, the series is called Playing With Babies and it's good laugh. So we will see you next Wednesday with another video and then the following, have we decided on the day? Friday? Friday, I think, because Saturday, I don't know. So following every Wednesday Friday. and Friday. Fr or Saturday, we haven't decided. All right, yeah. We think, because I think Friday would be good because then people got the whole weekend and gaming video seems like something for the weekend. But then Saturday spaces it out more. What do you think, Jeffrey? We'll do what you want. Um, yeah, mm. do it on a Saturday because it spreads out a little bit. Spreads and then it, bit. it's like three days apart and it sort of thing. Jeffrey has decided. There we go. So on Wednesday, you'll have the skating video, probably be a civic, it's what we're doing for Civic City Session. And then Saturdays. And then that. And we'll be doing playing with babies, and then that's going to be the schedule for a little while. We also might start another little mini side series. So Jack's not on his own with uh, <laughs> Jack can't kick flip. We're going to start making Luke can't tray flip videos <laughs> if he doesn't hurry up and land one. And the Jeffrey can't double kink. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Jordan stops being a little bitch and does double kink. <laughs> So yeah, big big things for the channel. Thanks for hanging in there. We are on the fucking absolute decline at the moment, but that's because I've been slacking. Actually, I'm not. I've been doing two videos a fucking week, but whatever. I've not been putting my heart into it, so we're going to be back as of now, putting our fucking hearts into it. So stick around and enjoy and come, come play games with us. Because we love playing games, and I know you do too, you bastard. Exactly. If you want to be on the podcast, and you think you got something interesting to share with us or the world, get in touch with us on Instagram or Facebook. Hopefully, the quality of these bad boys is slowly getting better. I think. I think so. I, people do seem to like the podcast. It's all ended now. We've um. <laughs> hmm? it's the podcast ended now. No, we're still going. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, people, we're still going. My <laughs> <laughs> bad. I'm on medication. Let me off. Desperate, isn't he? We um, 
Yeah, now we've got some good guests lined up for the future and uh, uh, for the next two months, basically. Uh, we just wanted to this month just have it be the three of us because it, it's a lot of work getting people down and do you know what I mean? And as well as keeping up with everything else, it, we just wanted to, to have the three of us and we did want to get around to actually doing some talking about how we've been doing this for a year and talk about how that came around. But as fucking usual, we have run out of time. And mm. we're probably going also, over the hour mark again. Big shout out to these guys for always doing the filming and editing. I know I haven't been in the videos as much and been trying enough, but I've been going through a lot of shit, which everyone goes through. I'm now trying to sort my stuff out slowly, and um, I was injured for a little bit, but I am going to try and put more effort into the videos, skating wise and stuff, because I know they do. Hashtag double kink. Well, and people's been requesting it as well, man. People want to see it. Like, I fucking break myself every week, and I'm like, so, any more ideas, guys? And people are like, Fair. yeah, can we actually see more of Jeffrey, please? I'm starting <laughs> to feel a lot better now, and my, my foot's starting to heal up, so I will definitely be putting more effort in. So Which we'll be, be great to see. Better content it out only, of both, all three of us. It only took one whole fucking year. We're going to get Jack <laughs> to fucking shred it. He's been inspired by the fat guy. and uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. <laughs> So now you're going to see Jack half cabbing the shit out of everything. And then he's going to half cab front nose. Yeah, man. I want to get down oh, to the mini ramp soon, idea. I think. Yeah, man. It's a good one. Yeah. It's a painful one. But you got, you've got, you in all fairness, you've got good balance. If you can run out of something, you'll be fine. Yeah. Get to the mini ramp, do some mini ramp stuff. You can drop in already. You, do, you can drop in. So you just need to get that rock fakie, which is a, a bit of a fucker to begin with. But once you've got it, you've got it, you know? Yeah, easy. Mini ramp's how I started. Don't know about you. You start no, on a mini straight all the time. I wasn't allowed to hit yeah, escape point. I wasn't allowed to. Oh, hit the I was going to say if we finish soon, then we can finish with this camera still being alive, but it has literally just died. Ah, uh, savage. So, well, this one's still alive. So me and you are in it, Jack. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and this group one's going, which I think it is anyway. Yeah, it's still going. <clears throat> cool. Well, that was great. I enjoyed yet another week, month of this fucking podcast. I like this. This is fun, but yeah, some some pretty cool guests on the way. Yeah, man, definitely, definitely worth checking out in the future. Although I'm sure you'll hear about it. Really excited to skate for Civic City session and join Jeverett on this one over the next little yeah, bit of time as well. Myself, <laughs> Although they did smash out that one challenge. That's the fucking did. second dab you've done this video, <laughs> <laughs> mate. It's like I don't know how often you watch our videos, but there's been a lot of dabs. <laughs> In April Baby's videos over the time. Have you learned that floss dance yet? Because I made like a gif of that. That was a great gif. <laughs> you trying to do that floss. What? Was you it actually called? made it? Yeah, I made like a gif of like Jeverett flossing. Yeah, remember? trying to do the floss dance. Yeah. Nice. Uh, cool. Alright. Ultra Beast sounds ever so sweet for Jeverett. He's fucking desperate to get out of here. He's got, he's very got big plans. It is, yeah. Yeah, we'll see you again this time next month. It will be with a special guest next month, although we are not sure which one yet. It just depends on timing, but I assure you that either one will be an absolutely fantastic episode. Um, thanks for thanks for tuning in. Once again, look out for our new videos. Show your support there. Let us know if you like them, um, so I can keep the ideas coming, because it's going to get Jeverick to skate a bit more. Anything else, boys? Nah, fuck yourselves. Get out, skate, watch skateboarding. Be the best of you, be. Fucking buy skate clothes unless you can kickflip, I swear to God, because any one of us will fuck you up if we see you in the streets. I'll keep looking at this camera. We will fuck you up if we see you in the streets wearing fucking skate gear and you can't pop a kickflip at request. We will fuck you up. Peace, everyone. <laughs> every, peace, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only here for the banter. <laughs> <laughs>